Yeah, so welcome to Club Star Wars Season 2, Episode 4. It's, truck, it's uh, trucking right along, isn't it? It is, yeah. No, I see, Bob. Um, have you had a good week? Yeah, yeah, no, it's been pretty good. Um, kids have started back at school, so... Yes, um, you know. the Star Wars dads. <laughs> Yeah. Kids are back at school. Yeah. So you're cl- reclaiming a bit of that time? Well, I still got one at home, so it's... Um, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, I'm I'm properly reclaiming time. Oh, yeah? Because mine's just gone to preschool for the first time. Ah, right. Well, this time next year, I'll be yeah. in your shoes. Yeah. So, um, but I've basically um, fallen down a IKEA rabbit hole. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this week. Yeah, a lot of flat oh, back. It's been uh, so assembly. cleansing. It's been so <laughs> cleansing, man. Gotta love IKEA. Just getting, I'm gonna get my, you know, as, as De Niro said in Taxi Driver, I'm gonna get myself organised. Organised. One of these days, <laughs> organised. Um, yeah, Nerdvana, the office space is coming together very yeah. nicely. Yeah. Um, but it was one of those things where, like, I bought the right desk that I wanted. Yeah, no, it looks pretty. You shouldn't send us a picture, actually. It looks to get rid good. of the little corner one. Yeah. And then I was like. Looked at the other side of the room and I was just like, oh, this is uh, all going to have to be reinvented over the other side as well. So then yeah. I like, went back to get some more <laughs> and this, that, the other. And, and then I started getting into the details of yeah, like yeah. Little LED strip lights and oh, things like right, that. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, a bit so, of a uh, Yeah, it's, 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 it'll be nice. Yeah. But it's, uh, it's been good to just get myself organised. Oh, so uh, I would recommend getting yourself organised, folks. Yeah. Anyway, this isn't Star Wars, but with, why not start Ooh. off with a bit of... Um, a bit of banter. Yeah, well, that's what it's all about, isn't it? You know. Uh... But yeah, so um, plenty of Star Wars news again. I mean, I'm, I'm not Wars, sure. Yeah. I'm not sure whether we'll go back to D23 because it's been a while ago now. Um, maybe we'll talk about the Mandalorian trailer and stuff in another episode. Yeah. But there's a few other bits and pieces to. Because um, I, I did see cover. The, le- the leaked Mandalorian. Um, oh yeah, I didn't which, see that. Which lasted about seven minutes or so. Or so. No. And there was a lot in there. It, it was taken off like half an hour after it had been released, you know. But uh, geez, it looks good. Yeah. It looks really good. It looks like better than anything we've got in the cinema so far. Wow. In my opinion, you know, it's, it's gonna be exciting. Yeah. It's looking good. Um, the other thing I was gonna say. Uh, uh, I can't remember. Anyway, there's been loads of news. Something that literally just popped up. Was it? What was it? About an hour or two ago, um, in my feed, and I passed it on to you guys. Obviously, oh, that's what I was going to say. You may notice that uh, we're back to two again because Andy's, just the Andy's two hitting us. busy time. Just the two of us. We can make it. We can be shields if we try. <laughs> just the t- <laughs> yeah. two of us. You and I. Ruin and I. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, Andy's uh, back in the intense work period, so um, we'll be back to two for the foreseeable, but he will be joining us uh, whenever he can. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and we'd like to give him a round of applause. Absolutely. For all the amazing work he's doing on our visual visuals, well, our look, a, music, everything. He's a main member of the gang now, isn't he? Oh, yeah, Definitely. you may you may notice that... Uh, there's been a steep incline in the uh, quality quality of editing <laughs> and uh, visual effects, and that's all uh, yeah. thanks to the main that's man himself. Andy. So, uh, so the force is very strong with him. Yeah, we'll say that much. So, um, we got this covered. Dot com, and this was, of course, a very uh, exciting piece of news for uh, our Andy because he's a huge Vader man. Wow. Just as the Skywalker saga is closing with uh, The Rise of Skywalker, a whole new outlet for Star Wars content has arrived in the form of Disney+. Plus. Um, do we still, have we still got a, did we get the UK date yet on that? No. No, we've still no, not I don't got think it. So. I, I think it's going to be a while before we get it, because yeah. of licensing issues with Sky. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, the, the only film most of Star Wars over here, so what does it matter? Exactly. Well, we get a yeah. release date, you know. Never mind. Um, the franchise's first ever live action TV series, The Mandalorian, will be available on the streaming site from launch this November. Or not in England. And there are already plans for many more to follow it, including a show for Cassian Andor, and of course, the Obi Wan. Yeah, we didn't discuss that either. The Obi Wan no. series. No. Um, what were your What were your thoughts on that? 
before um, we start dipping into this? Well, is it set... How many years is it set after um, Revenge of the Sith? Is it seven years? Did, is that, that rings... Is that what they said? I think it's so. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I think. I mean, uh, what's he going to be up to on Tatooine? Right, just... Watching Luke from afar. <laughs> from, <laughs> from behind a rock, can't you? Yeah, yeah. From behind a CGI rock. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> CGI rock, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I mean, there's, there's a lot that can be done, I suppose. I mean, Tatooine's a, a planet that has um, scum and villainy, mm, you know. Yeah, um, busy spaceport. Yeah. A lot of interesting characters could come through there. Well, exactly. Um they could be, I don't know, I mean, yeah, there's loads that could happen. Uh, uh, think- well, I've heard rumours too that um, Maul could be part of it too. Yeah. So. You know how I feel about that. I yeah. Think. Yeah. I think it's kind of crap bringing him back, but. Yeah. I mean, he's been back for a while. Uh, I know, I know. But, I know. Like, prior to Disney's takeover. I mean, he's a, he was a good. It wasn't really a char- it wasn't that much of a character. He was. He was a. I think he was one that was shouldn't have been killed a, off. A, yeah, he should you know. have been. He should have been developed more. Definitely, yeah. I agree no, with well, that. Well, he wasn't killed off in the long run. But, but you know what I mean. It's a kind of retcon because just because everyone sort of loves the character. Yeah, yeah. He could have been an awesome villain, sort of into the second movie. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too, you know, and then, then get rid of him. But uh, anyway, it is what it is. Yeah, all that. Um, no, because that would have been dispensed with a bit quickly, wouldn't it? But yeah, he could have been working with Dooku or something like that. Yeah, that yeah. Could have made uh, that second one a bit better. Yeah. Maybe. But anyway. But he might be back in Obi Wan. You know, as, uh, if, I mean, we've seen him in the animated series. As, if we get to see them two, which we've seen already, having it. Yeah, I mean, like. Um, yeah, physically. The, yeah, physically. If we get to see them two, Ray Park and Hugh McGregor going at each other again with. Lightsabers, then. Yeah, yeah I can absolutely yeah. live with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Because it's still one of my favourite. Like the, the 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 final duel between them two. Yeah, yeah. No, Once, it, uh, is, it is pretty good. You know, after Liam good. gets done in. Yeah. Train the boy. Yeah. He's <laughs> on a Lego. Yeah. Train the boy. Yeah. <laughs> um. Once he's gone, that you know. Yeah. He's waiting behind that door, all yeah. angry and crash. <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah, no. It's That's just awesome. I love that bit. Yeah. So if we can get some more of that, cool. Definitely. But like you say, there's a potential for a lot of interesting characters moving through there. I mean, also, I'd... do we think that <clears throat> Disney might follow suit? Do you think they're going to do? They're going to go, and he's not on Tatooine. He's or he's in all these. He lives on this different planet for a bit. Uh, um, I mean, know? there's a possibility he could go off world, but I don't know. I mean, he, I always had the impression that he, he just he was on Tatooine. Yeah, him. yeah, that's what I did because, like, in exile, like, yeah, you know, like yeah, Yoda, yeah, just looking after, looking after Luke from <laughs> afar. Yeah. So, I mean, he's gonna for have me. Some... I don't mind if he goes elsewhere, but I, I feel like if they just decide to do away with the Tatooine thing and then just go and no, and now he lives on, you know. Mukalakaniki, which is like a, <laughs> you know another desert planet, just yeah. so happens to be. Yeah. I was like, eh. you know, whatever. Well, yeah, I, th- I think he'll, I think he'll stay. I think he'll stay on Tatooine personally, mm-hmm. um, and and the fights will come to him, and yeah, and maybe um, like the, in the book, which is EU now, um, or Legends as you call it. Yeah, he, he um, kind of struck up a relationship. Um, but it never went all the way, you know what I mean? It, 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 you, you're reading it, you had the impression that it would, but then... He never got his... But yeah. He never got his pink you, lightsaber you, you could, out in the end. No. <laughs> you could see he cared for her. Right. In the, in the book, and she cared for him. And then she disappeared mm. off the off the planet to, to follow a career or something. I can't remember, really remember, but... Um, she disappeared in a ship. <laughs> yeah. With well, a young child going... Yeah, yeah. Come back. Yeah. I mean, you don't, you don't know. I mean, they could depend on what happens Ray. in nine as well. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah. So. Do you think they'll? Is yeah. I'd like to. I'd like to see a, a dovetail in in nine for the Obi Wan series. Yeah, I hope so. Because I mean, uh, I'd love it to be a sort of a, a Kenobi grandchild or something. Mm. You know, that'd be awesome. Rather than a Palpatine one, mm. which is the rumor. 
But yeah. Um, which. But which again, you can kind of see why they might want to do that because then it's like she's it's the ultimate. And it also victory kind of, over the emperor because yeah, you know, you've managed to bring round a a clone or a relation of his, so to speak. Yeah, and and something somebody put online um, yesterday, I think it was. They they were comparing like uh, not like Ray's lightsaber fighting style from the Force Awakens. Mm. to Palpatine's fine style in Revenge of the Sith, you know, and it's treason then, and he, and he goes out, and, he, and it's near enough the same moves. Ah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where he, she comes back and, you know, stabs yeah, the lightsaber yeah. and all that. She does that, he does that. Interesting. Yeah. Mm, well, could be. Um. But, yeah, Obi-Wan, that's, that's definitely what, the fans have been screaming for. Yeah, that's what everyone wanted, and uh, yeah, I, I quite like the. Uh, even though again, <laughs> again at D twenty three, they had that. They did that. Um, you know, you had one god. You had one job, tech guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Missed his cue again for Kathleen Kennedy. Must it. have been the same. Fella, she was like, you know? music begins. Yeah, it was like, it's so awkward, wasn't yeah. it? Like a school production, isn't it? Uh, Come on, and that's the same. You know, they they messed it up with Ford. At the uh, Galaxy's Edge, and now yeah. they messed it up with. Uh, yeah, they probably old, said so. Um, we've got one more chance. Yeah, one more chance, tech guy. <laughs> yeah. And then you get in the. Yeah, yeah. You know, and he's scuppered that. Then you chance, get in the mall. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, that was funny, but but when he finally did come out, you know, it was like uh, Kathleen. <laughs> yeah. Can you ask me <laughs> if I'm going to be playing Obi Wan Kenobi again? But yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you going to be playing Obi Wan? Yes. <laughs> Pause. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> so, um, fair play. It should have been a movie. I think. I mean, a TV series is probably better in the it long could, run, it really. Because come out better because you know. I don't think the if, movies. If, are, if Solo hadn't happened. Yeah. It probably would have been a movie. Probably would have been a movie. Yeah. But I think this is better though because it is it, proved now that. Certainly, in the Star Wars universe, it's been proved in the in recent times that it's very difficult to try and write a story. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And yeah. you know, well, a cohesive story. Yeah, that and doesn't need to be explained away by some other comic book or a retcon or whatever. Or yeah, you know. So and it probably uh, works better with TV because it's episodic. It's episodic, yeah. you know, and you guess that you will get a. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten hour movie instead of, well, exactly. uh, of yeah. instead of yeah. that, and you know, and, and the way TV shows are these days, anyway, the, the, the production values are amazing. They're amazing. And Disney have got money to burn, so yeah, yeah, and like I say, that, that Mandalorian clip I saw, it was a movie. It was a movie. I mean, it was yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like Game of Thrones, Fantastic. like anything else. It's uh, you yeah. know, it's gonna look good. Yeah. So yeah, so Obi Wan Kenobi. Anyway, back to. Um, this article we were talking about. Um, <laughs> it's interesting to note that both of these, uh, the, the Obi Wan Kenobi and the Cassian Andor series, will fill gap between the prequels and the original trilogy. And it seems Lucasfilm is open to exploring this period even more in another show based on the most iconic Star Wars character of them all. We got this covered, as heard from our sources, the same ones who told us Ewan McGregor was returning as Obi Wan Kenobi in May. And they were correct. Trusted. And that Robert Patterson was locked in as Batman. So, two for two. Yeah. That a Darth Vader series is being considered. Do it. Apparently, the plan would be to get both James Earl Jones and Hayden Christensen back to portray the anti-villain. Jones would, of course, provide the voice of the contemporary character, while Christensen would return for flashbacks to the days when he was Anakin. Okay. Interesting. The idea is that it would be set prior to A New Hope as well. It's important to stress, however, that our sources could only confirm Jones' involvement at the moment, with Christensen said to be maybe if they decide to use flash flashbacks. Mm. Yeah, because... Unless they're doing that, what would be the point in, in having him there? Because he looks crap in the outfit anyway. Exactly. It, yeah. I mean, he did. There'd have to be like three actors to play. You know, you, you need got the voice, this guy in a suit. 
and Christensen. Yeah. yeah. You know. Um, yeah, you're going to want um, your man to do the Vader costume again. Yeah. Um, What's it called? Name escapes. Daniel Naprows. Is that it? All right. Yeah. And, or, or him and Spencer, whichever. Yeah, that's, that's who I was thinking of, Spencer. But Spencer was the one who did a lot of work in Rogue One Rogue that one. got caught. Yeah. And then... Right, okay. He was unavailable when they did the reshoots. Ah, uh, okay. And Daniel... Daniel Naprost was already on board anyway. Yeah. But it's Naprost that did all the... Right, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think there's only... I think there's only... I th- I'm sure it was... Um, I'm sure Gareth Edwards said that there's, like, no shots of Spencer Wellman in the film. Oh, right, OK. Yeah. But I'm pretty convinced um, that there's this. There's, there's at least one shot of him on the ramp. Walking down towards Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's him. Yeah. Because um, he's, he's got a bigger Physique, chest and yeah, you can see. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, other than that, it's... Uh, Prowse. But yeah, yeah if, all those shots in the trailer, that shot where you got it from behind Vader, where he's looking at the red map screen and stuff, that all that Spencer. Oh yeah. So um the, I mean, Yeah, I think they need a man a good a good man in the costume. Yeah. If they're gonna do um flashbacks. Christensen, yeah. A Vader series would be epic. I think they should do it. Oh yeah, that's what every, everyone wants to see Vader, don't they? Yeah, um, there's so many stories to tell um, before A New Hope with so many characters you can have Thrawn in there because you know there's a bit of a tension between them two, right? Because um, the Emperor loves Thrawn. Yeah, you know, um, <clears throat> Doctor Aphra from the comics. I don't know much about her personally, mm. but I know they have a bit of a to and fro anyway um, right yeah there's so many stories man it's, it's, it's a, it's a no brainer and the it. thing is I mean <clears throat> for me it's one of those things that you spend years like imagining things in your head don't you from a certain movie and then when it's told in a prequel or sequel it can never quite match up to it if you know what I mean so so like you know the words you know you fought in the clone words yes Mm. Jedi Knight I'm actually like father you know all they said was the clone wars yeah that was your backstory and you had yeah a vision in your head about what that was yeah and then you know sorry about these interruptions folks Uh, you got a vision in your head yeah about what you you know, what you saw that as. And when you saw it, and when it came in the film, it wasn't quite, it's never going to be what It's never going to line up. No, with your head cannon. (laughs) With your head cannon, no. (laughs) So, the other thing was like, you know, he helped the the Empire hunt down and destroy the Jedi Knights. Now, for me, that felt like that's something that Vader was doing for years. Yeah, And they moved to all corners of the galaxy and... Hunting down the Jedi. You know, hunting them down. You know, Whereas in Revenge of the Sith, they're kind of all... It happened in half an hour, didn't it? Like, <laughs> sort of dispense with quickly. Now, yeah. if if they could... If they went in there, went back in and sort of retconned a bit to say, oh, well, these Jedi Masters that you never saw in the film... <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean... Were disappeared to there and there and there. I mean, you've got because the that's masters. what you want to see. You yeah. want to see him... Hunting down the remainder of... They got rid of the Jedi Masters. Yeah. There's probably a bunch of Padawans still out there which he needs to yeah, dispense yeah. of too. So that's a road they could go down, I suppose. Yeah. Um, that's we, what that's we, what. We know there were survivors. I mean, there's that video game coming out which will be canon. Um, right. Which is... Oh, what's the name of it now? <clears throat> God. Mind blank. But anyway, that's about a character who's a Padawan. Basically, okay. a, a trainee, yeah, and it's after the slaughter of the Jedi mm, in Revenge of the Sith. So, right, yeah. So that's something. And then you, you had Rebels as well with Kane, yeah, yeah, Kane and Jerris, yeah, yeah. who was uh, again same sort of dealio. Yeah. So uh, yeah, as long as they're all dispensed of before it reaches a new hope, 
It yes. won't ruin yeah, yeah. that, will it? You know. But like you say, you could get a couple of seasons of him. I mean, obviously, various other stuff. Thrawn. Yeah. Like you're saying, um, and him actually hunting down Jedi's and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Showing how ty- tyrannical he is, and mm-hmm. um, and also his, his his personal battle with. I don't know, will he have guilty feelings? Or, I don't know. At that point in his life, does he still have a bit of light in him, which is fighting? I don't, I don't know. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah. Thinking about Padme. Maybe. You know. <laughs> <That> was, <laughs> it was pretty funny hearing him say that in the James Earl Jones voice, though. What's that? It just didn't quite... How's Padme? Oh, yeah. <laughs> is she all right? <laughs> like, mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that was dispensed with when you put the mask on, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're it's saying. It's felt a bit awkward. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it needs so it does need something that he's battling it. Yeah. But again, it's very difficult to do with the helmet on. Yeah. For the voice. Yeah. You need you need the moment if they're going to do a series and they've got Hayden Christensen in there. I mean, you could have moments where he's in his um, chamber and the helmet comes off. And you see Christensen in the suit. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Emotional or, or whatever, I don't know. Oh, when he goes into his chamber, that's when you flashback. Flashback, yeah. So that's when he's meditating, isn't it? You know? Yeah, yeah. M- meditating in his uh, tank of back to flying yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So what else are they saying about this here? Back when the anthology movies were being made, fans often suggested Vader a Star Wars story film. Back when the anthology films were being made. <laughs> Does that mean we're never going to see one? Probably, of yeah, yeah. Back in the day. Uh, fans of Officers just invaded a Star Wars story, especially after his epic action in Rogue One. Others, however, feel that he's already been acu- adequately covered over the first six episodes of the saga. What a TV series could do, though, is partially redeem Anakin's much-criticised story arc in the prequels and give us a truly complex portrayal of Vader by looking at both his present and his past. It has the potential to be a very exciting project, but then... uh, Then. But from what we understand, this is only in the very early stages of development right now and likely won't be officially announced for some time. As such, we wouldn't be surprised if Lucasfilm were to publicly deny it until they're ready to formally reveal it. Mm. So, yeah. It sounded like that article was having a go at um, Hayden's sort of portrayal in the prequels. I mean, mm. I thought it was all right. Personally. He did well with what he had. Exactly. Yeah. As a new actor on the scene, he did all right in my book. But um... <laughs> it's, it's, it's a script you've got to yeah yeah that's yeah that's you got to point the finger I just it? remember yeah. that like um, Kevin Smith um, there was a thing where have you seen Clerks 2 yeah so you remember that bit in Clerks 2 where um, it's, there's a guy there's, there's that Elias character who's like obsessed with Lord of the Rings and obviously Randall's like the, the Star Wars he's like there's only one there's only one yeah. trilogy man you yeah, know yeah. Uh, there's only one return and it's of the Jedi you know and all that <laughs> yeah. but then this other geezer turns up uh, in the movies to grab Burger and whips his is precious out, and they both start going on about Lord of the Rings and like Randall's like for fuck's sake like, you know <laughs> blah 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 um, and um so this, so the, the the guy who comes to the counter goes like, uh, uh, uh you know, Mannequin Skywalker, my Mannequin. shitty, <laughs> my shitty acting is ruining Saga. Like yeah. that. And it was in the, it was one, it was on the gags that was in the trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So seemingly they were in the middle of cutting the movie, because um, they cut up at, they, they they've cut most of his movies, um, including clips to. Um, up at Skywalker. All right. He did the sound like Kevin's well into? He got married up there with yeah, him and all yeah. that. So, they were up there cutting the movie, and uh, this call came through from who else, saying that, like, um, they were wondering if, if, if you'd mind, like, cutting that joke out of the movie, like, oh. and he's like, why, what, what's the problem, like, you know, George and the rest of the guys are okay with it, because they know that, you know, we love Star Wars, and it's like, yeah, it's just a no, no, Hayden Christensen oh, saw right. the trailer. 
Oh. And was all pissed off. Oh, shit. And he was like, and Kevin was like, <clears throat> "Sorry, joking." The most <laughs> evil man in the galaxy. <laughs> Phoned up like a pussy to ask him for a joke. Yeah. So that I'm yeah. like, he was ahead of the game. You know, you expect that kind of thing. This. Like this day, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, so, but that's it, you see. You know, and, and I can, you can understand, like, he did cop for a lot of flack, and I think that's why he's not been around for the fans. And, true, and he's true. only just started coming back, yeah. But well, he has started coming back. You've seen yeah. uh, recently, he's been on celebration, and yeah, yeah. he's been on circuit with um, uh, the Emperor, yeah, he was at LFC, yeah. And um, apparently, I mean, I I don't know this I solid. Pay 145 quid. Oh, jeez, no, jeez, that's a lot of money, man. No, um, apparently, um, Disney stepped in and, and cancelled a, a, a talk they were going to do at a, a con somewhere, both him Ian and Ian, because we were frightened of leaks. Um, LFCC. I bet it was, because oh, yeah. there was no talk. Ah, oh, right, right. I yeah. did wonder about that. Right. So, yeah, that, I mean, what does, keep that, keep what does that say? Yeah. You know, is it either this, what we're talking about, the, the, the Vader series, or, I mean, I mean it's Pretty obvious to me because he's, he's in got, nine. He's in nine. Yeah. Yeah. A flashback or a flashback or a or a, a force ghost. You mm. know. Um, this is leading on to something else, which was um, okay on Twitter recently. Um, somebody. Oh, that Twitter. Somebody at Lucasfilm posted this. I'm gonna need a beer for this. Yeah. So Go on. Sit back. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> Have a beer. Tell me a story. Yeah. Um, apparently, Tell me a story. the original sort of concept and story of Return of the Jedi was yes, the final battle, our lightsaber duel, and, and sorry, with the Emperor as well, where he's shocking Luke. Yeah. Um, originally, Obi Wan, Yoda, were gonna appear and and help ah. Luke Skywalker. And, and, and powerful s- force goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and stop the lightning and all this sort of thing. Oh. When it came to making a movie, that was thrown out. You know, probably would have been a bit too difficult technically. I don't know. I don't know. But um, th- this was this was what was written, and there's evidence for it. You can, you know, you, um, yeah. The, and and another power of the, these force ghosts was um, when they came back to help, they came back. Really. Not as a, a blue, you know, right? Fuzzy thing, so yeah, is that something that could be in nine? You know, if all these uh, characters came back to life, that gives Star Wars an extra uh, another trilogy. Uh, I don't know, you know. Um, we'll see. I suppose. Mm. I mean, Obi Wan did say in A New Hope, "If you strike me down, I will become more powerful." Yeah, yeah, of course. And we never really saw that power. No. You know, it was like just a, a cocky line, wasn't it? You know. Yeah, come up off of it. Well, no. What did you do? You'll just turn up and yeah, tell more lies. <laughs> <laughs> well, from a certain point of view. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You'll so, find that many of the truths we cling to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's a sneaky one, isn't he? Mm, yes. will be one. But yeah, so the there Jedi you go. The uh, Return of the Jedi. Force ghosts ori- originally came back to help, and uh, they came back. Not as ghosts, but as flesh and blood. I think that would be pretty cool. Mm. And that's the power they had. I'd pay my money to see that. Jeez, yeah. Um, move along from uh, Darth along. Vader and uh, yeah. Obi Wan. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Star Wars movie of the original trilogy and possibly of the, no definitely <laughs> the best uh, movie to date is The Empire Strikes Back yes agreed agreed yeah. agreed 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 yes it seems most people feel this way but the but the fact is that wasn't always the case at the time The Empire Strikes Back wasn't universally adored bollocks yes. um, this is the, this is um it's, it's, it's an excuse yeah but this is a new thing that the kid the, 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 it's yes yeah. It's, it's a new thing because it's an it's excuse. A, it's a it. stretched fact. Yes. Yeah. No, it's it's an, it's an invented fact that they've. I think there was maybe like a couple of mixed reviews, but mostly they were like, "This is it's some this is even better than the first one." Yeah. Yeah. No, this is. So this, this is, is all internet. It's like what um, Richie Allen says: "We live in a post-fact world." <laughs> yeah. 
You know, yeah. you can just bend. It's alternative facts. You just bend facts to like sell whatever it is you need to sell. So, so we're going to ignore that last bit that they've written here in Cinema Blend. It wasn't all. It, sorry, it, it wasn't University of Dodd. And Star Wars: The Last Jedi director Ryan Johnson. Ryan Johnson. I always call him Ryan. Ryan. Ruin. Ruin. Yeah. Remembers being disappointed by it when he first saw it as a child. Well, doesn't that explain a lot? Yes. While the director of The Last Jedi says he may have been taken to see Star Wars A New Hope in theatres, he tells Up Rocks the first Star Wars movie he remembers seeing was The Empire Strikes Back, and he didn't love it. <laughs> That's the thing. This is the quote. That's the thing. But as a kid, I distinctly remember being disappointed by The Empire Strikes Back. I think my dad took me when I was really young to see A New Hope. Is that he doesn't go into any further detail than that? No, he does. Yeah, uh, he Ream does. was hardly alone at this. If you look at reaction from fans and critics in 1980, whilst most have got things to say about it, most. few, if any, are heaping praise onto it in any major way. A lot of people had issues with the with the places the plot went and the whole "I am your father" thing. Really? Bollocks! Bullshit. This is like what you want. There is like a link. Have they actually put? Yeah, there's nothing there that tells you anything. Just not. We'll look at those afterwards. Let's see what they've cherry picked. Right, so um... people have already done the research of um, the reactions to that movie. Yes. And um, it's BS. Uh, what they're trying to get away with now. Yeah. You know, it really is. So a lot of people have used this is especially surprising for those of us who first saw the movie as kids. By the end of the Empire Strikes Two, the major heroes, blah blah blah. We know the story. It's a kids who. As a kid, you're going to react to these story beats much more directly. Seven-year-old Ryan Johnson isn't thinking about how these decisions are going to be good for the larger trilogy or how a three-act structure always leads to an all-is-lost moment. He's just thinking about how his heroes have been beaten, and that sucks. On the other hand... <laughs> The Star Wars Return of the Jedi eventually sees the good guys win out and the Empire is defeated. So as a kid, Ryan Johnson says he loved that movie a lot more, though eventually, over time, Empire grew on him. Yeah, no, I remember, especially in the context of Return of the Jedi, which as a kid I adored, adored. and so, yeah, I remember very vis vividly, but then Empire slowly became my favourite one. Again, this is likely the case with a lot of... Yeah. So the base, he's basically saying that as a kid... He didn't like it, but now he thinks it's the best one. I can, yeah. Apart from his. Yeah. Thing is, there's, there's Has a... Has he not come out and said that this a, is the best Star Wars film yet? His one? Uh, no, he hasn't. A lot of... A lot that's, of... that's coming next. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've made, the, I've made the best one. Now, um, the difference between Empire and his movie is that his movie felt like an end. Ending? Like a fight... You know, um, yeah, Luke had come along, saved them all from, yeah, like let them escape basically, yeah. Um, and they're all on the Millennium Falcon, all smiling and having a laugh. You know, it's like one of them cartoons in the 80s where they all end laughing, you know, <laughs> yeah. It, it, it just felt like an ending. And um, where do you go from there? It's Scooby Doo ending, Scooby Doo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, where Empire ended with, jeez. Uh, Beaten down, all right. You know, Luke's yeah. lost his hand. Um, he's found out some hard truths. Yeah. What's going to happen now? You know, it, it made you look forward to the next one. Yeah. Well, a lot of fans have been put off, man. Mm. They really have. They, they're not looking forward to it. The hype should be like crazy. I think everyone's just very cautious. You know, e everyone's cautious now, aren't they? Everyone's yeah. like uh, trying not to get too excited because. In case they get kicked in the balls again. Oh, I mean, we just don't want to see any more of our um, old heroes get ruined. That's where, I mean, yes, a lot of the stuff we've talked about on this show, you and I, the three of us with Andy, there's lots of ideas that have been thrown out there by us. Yeah. By things in the press and ideas that we've put together and thought, you know, that'd be interesting, blah, blah, blah. And there has been some a lot of it where we've been excited by it. You know, we've been, oh, yeah, I hope that happens. And, and yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wouldn't that be awesome? And So there is... Our, our headcanon. 
Yeah. <laughs> Not just head cannon, though. There has been, you know, leaks and stuff that have yeah, yeah. said, like, this, you know, and this is going to happen. And we thought, wow, that, that sounds so meant. Yeah. So there are those things um, that makes me excited about it. Mm. Yeah. But my general overriding feeling it's like yes, um, I'm just like cautiously optimistic I'm just, I'm just like oh well I'm more pessimistic really it's like I, I think oh. I, I, I'm just, it's like I'll wait and see I mean yeah, I, yeah that's know, all we can I do. just have to wait and see uh, yes I'm glad that, that that JJ's coming back and yeah you know I mean I feel like it should be a better movie yeah I mean the, 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 the sort of hearing on the grapevine that sort of panicking behind the scenes trying to get scenes mm. reshots and CGI redone yeah um, for whatever reason maybe maybe because of the leaks I don't know maybe maybe they put the leaks out there themselves to see what's mm. stuck and now they're trying to I don't know bounce um, off it you know like cut and paste a movie because there were there were rumours that they, they'd filmed multiple scenes differently you know like the same same sort of scenes but with different outcomes, you know, it's... And then they're going to make... So they can throw it together They're going to the make the movie in, in the edit room, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, and and they, they throw everything out there just to see what sticks, and, and that's what they're going to do. Which is, to be fair, is not a bad idea. They, they want to get it... They're desperate to get it right. But doing that is not a bad idea because, you know, as we've seen, um, particularly with Ruin's movie, is that... It was overly long anyway. Yeah. You know, it could have finished half, three quarters of an hour. Yeah, there, before there, it there were scenes in there that made... Like, there was loads of stuff that didn't need to be there. Didn't. More of stuff that you wanted to see but didn't get to see. Yeah. But my point being, even then, he had to cut things out so there was, like, plot holes mm. you could mm. drive a falcon through. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that Falcon that we don't know. We still don't know how she got back on. <laughs> Stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah, I can't believe it. And, and she's in the Falcon. He what? Cut things what? Out. Luke's reaction to hearing that his yeah, best mate. Yeah, I know. Died. That's the worst one. He, he cut that out, but left him milking a space car. Yeah. I know. So, like I say, decisions like that. Yeah. But if they're shooting scenes multiple ways with different ins and outs, then hopefully that gets around the fact that if the if they are having to chop down and lose bits and pieces then you know it's not going to leave plot holes and stuff yeah maybe I, I, I don't know that's all I, yeah um, but I mean there were plot holes in Force Awakens anyway weren't there in the Force Awakens yeah um, nothing like The Last Jedi nothing but. like that forgivable ones I suppose you can, yeah. you can call it you know I mean there's probably plot, plot holes in in the originals, well, there is, there is really, isn't there, you know. Um, well, we're still going, well, <laughs> the light speed thing, we're still not sure about now. Mm. That's just kind of... Well, this is it. There's, 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 where do you go from there, you know? Um, space battles have changed forever in Star Wars. Yeah. What are they going to do to get around that? Mm. I can't think of anything. You know, um, what to get around the holder maneuver in the next? Yeah, round. well, exactly. How do you, how do you wreck on that? How how do you do it? It's like shit. We're faced with a load of um, enemy ships. What we're gonna do? Hold on, maneuver. Perfect. Get a droid to fly that ship at light speed. All right. You know, game over. Mm. Yeah. It's. Uh, I mean. I know. I know. <laughs> it's an unsurmountable issue yeah yeah and, I, and I'm sure that Rian Johnson had things after the Force Awakens where he was like well, pff, well now what do I do yeah I mean JJ has come out and said um, The Last Jedi hasn't really you know um, disrupted his plans because he had a, he had an outline of all three movies um and Ryan just went off in, on his own tangent, if you like. And he said it hasn't re really... So he just ignored what JJ had in mind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And said, uh, I'm going to write my own thing. Yeah. Because I'm uh, awesome. Oh, and that's something what re is really annoying as well. Um, there's, there's two videos. One's, one's JJ saying, you know, you can't put yourself in a bubble and 
do your own thing. You, it, this is a, a team uh, effort. And, yeah. But then there's one of Ryan saying, no, no, I put myself in a bubble and I've done my own thing. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's the difference there, you know. Yeah. I like J.J. Abrams. Um, well, I do too, and I'm, I'm hoping he pulls it out of the bag, but um, he's got I mean, he's got a lot of work to do to get it right. Yeah. yeah. I don't envy them the job. No, no. So, Not at all. But, uh... Yeah. But so do we, you know, um Ryan said something else in this interview. I don't think it's in this article, is it? Um uh, he said something along the lines of um his new trilogy? No. No. Well, he's look at it this way. I mean, he's got some other movie to sell. So, I wouldn't be surprised if he's just saying provocative things about Star Wars because it knows it will get in the paper and mm. he can sell the Whatever floats are he's serving up next. Yeah. I, I'm not watching his movie. <laughs> Bugger off. Well, that's, that's right. What's it, it, it called again? Knives Out. Knives Out. Yeah. It might be all right, but I doubt it. It's just another... Um, it's a political movie, really. Is it? Yeah. yeah he, well, he said so himself. It's a, it's a look at modern America today. So it's, um, it's slanted politically. I mean, I'm not a Trump supporter at all, but... Um, it's showing, you know, angst against Trump supporters, right? If you like, um, okay. and Trump voter, voters. It's um, somebody apparently somebody in the movie um, be, becomes a Nazi because he's on he, off the internet. Well, he's becoming a, a Nazi mm-hmm. off the internet, or something. Um, so he's the guy who did it, probably. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, back to that article. Ryan Johnson said... Why didn't said, you call it shit Cluedo? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 hey, I'll reserve judgment. I'm not seeing it. I'm not no, gonna, I mean, I'm not, it, I'm not going to be that guy. It but, could be good. It could be but good. But the chances of me I, I wait until it's hunting history. down to watch it. No. I'll wait till I come watch it on my cell phone. Then, um, yeah. There's, there's better movies that are coming out which I'll save money for, like the Joker and stuff, you know. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, Ryan Johnson said yeah, about no. Luke Skywalker in the, in the Empire Strikes Back, Quote, Luke gets symbolically castrated by his father. It sticks. That's why, that's the one that even though at the time I had that reaction to it, it stuck in me and it resonated with me. At that time he had that reaction to it? At seven years old? He's, oh, it's like Luke's had his balls cut off. Fuck off. No, he didn't. He had his hand cut he off. He didn't think that. And he'd fight. At seven years old he thought Luke was symbolically castrated by his father. Yeah. That's what he said. What a lot of shite. That's the one, yeah. No, I mean... What, what, what the F, you know? Johnson, Johnson, Johnson. <laughs> anyway, so uh, this will be up. Andy dropped something into our chat. <laughs> he said, the most boring episode of Break Bad. <laughs> <laughs> Directed by Ryan Johnson. Oh, well, what are you looking at? <laughs> well, there you go. Is that the one where, um... Uh, I can't remember the character's name now. I've never watched it, actually. You've never watched it? No. I think it's the one where one of them drinks green milk out of a... <laughs> out of a chicken or something. <laughs> <laughs> the thought. <laughs> That's not milk! You won't sleep, <laughs> you won't sleep a wink tonight. No. <laughs> Think about what about Ru- what about Ruin Johnson milking you? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's enough for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I just don't like the guy. Everything, everything is touches. Admiral Akbar. Yeah. You know, um, no, we keep coming back to this. I turned it's a bit of Last Jedi rant again. This book. It is. It always turns into fun, doesn't it? Anyway, yeah. me and on? you are left to our own devices. We are. Go on, you're going to say something else. We'll finish with that. Flying Leia. Ah, oh, yeah. Admiral Akbar. Yeah. Hold on, maneuver. Yeah. Cancel a bite. Oh man, it. Yeah, yeah. I, I can understand arguments why people like that movie. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good. I'll give it that. Mm-hmm. It looks good. Um. 
but it's just not good. It's just not a good movie. No. You know. No, <sighs> no matter how you dress it up. I can't. I can't accept it. I can't accept it. <laughs> Sorry, Andy. Nobody's. I know, a- I know you're a fan of the last. Nobody's. Thing. Nobody's asking you to accept it, Matthew. <laughs> Don't worry about that. <laughs> so, um, well, do you feel a bit? I, I mean, I've had a cl- quite a cleansing week. Have you? Yeah. Um, so, do, do we? Do you feel a bit more cleansed after that as well? Yourself, yeah. Personally, mm, you know, it's always good to get things off your chest. Why not? Should we go and finish the... things off with a clonic irrigation? <laughs> <laughs> we get out of it. <laughs> yeah. Get rid of all that red meat that we've been building up over <laughs> over the years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well. <laughs> wow. It says here that by the time the average American is fifty. There is four pounds of undigested red meat in his bowel. Yeah. yeah. Beverly Hills Cop. I don't know that. No, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't remember that. Rosewood reading into Tiger. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you think I have any interest in that? <laughs> <laughs> well, you eat a lot of red meat. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, he's going to. Well, he was at um, Full of a Sci Fi. Um, no, at Manchester Comic Con. No, oh, is he? Um, Judge Reinhold. Oh, right, okay. I think he might be coming back. I mean, I think he might be doing the Scotland one. Right, right. Or something. Um, I still, we'll do... I'll still need to um, email the folks over. Your man. Uh, yeah, yeah, for love of sci-fi, yeah. Yeah, for love of sci-fi. Um, yeah, we'll we be there in December. some interviews, man. Yeah, we do. We'll do we, we're not done any for a while. I'm still waiting on my Ewok interview. Oh, yeah, coming in yeah, from, yeah. Oh, that's um, excellent. From uh, Drake Con, so yeah. Um, when I get the footage, I'll put it out there, folks, because that's really good. That's really interesting. That there's some nice little stories in yeah. there. Yeah. Um, really want to talk to uh, Ray Park. Yes. Try and get some juicy information. Yeah. He won't give you any. He won't give you any. <laughs> we'll talk about his, his past. We'll take him to the bar. <laughs> See what we can get out of him. <laughs> but yeah, I think we'll probably do. Uh, probably need to do a. Um, Bit of a con run down for the rest of the year as well. Um, yeah, yeah. In the next episode, so. Definitely. I think um, I think that'll possibly do us for today. I think it, yeah. I think yeah. it will. Yeah. Cool. We'll wind that up. Move along. So, um, guys, um, if you want to hear any more of our rants, <laughs> Last Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have to. Well, we're gonna have to stop at some point. <laughs> we'll have to stop at some point. It's we been, really it's will like have years. to stop. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, two years, Bilbo. <laughs> yeah. um, but yeah, please. Don't, I noticed that we've um, we've been climbing up a little bit again in the subscriptions. There's slow, slowly but surely. Um, please like and subscribe. Um, share the video out. Um, watch it more than once if you can. Yeah. If you like to, <laughs> just put it on the background. I'll just put it on in the background while you and just ignore it. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we're also going to um, audio as well. Ah. That's the yes. um, that's the idea anyway. So um, these. Rants, <laughs> discussions will be uh, available on iTunes in the next few yes, indeed weeks. Hopefully. So you'll be able to listen to us in as well car. as watch us if you on should. On your way to work. On your way to work, yeah. On the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the listen, best place to be when listening you're to our soothing voice. Oh. Listening to the last Jedi <laughs> rant. Help you, it'll help you go. Cleansing. <laughs> <laughs> It's a running theme tonight. Yeah. <laughs> that might be the episode title: "Cleansing Ruin." <laughs> I can I can just see Andy's face now. He's <laughs> so I have to edit this. <laughs> He's crying into his Last Jedi one sheet right now. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks, and uh, we'll see you next time. May the force be with you. See you later. Bye.